All right. Good evening, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Great to see your faces. It's that time again. Feels like we were just all together last Tuesday. And here we are. It's August 6th. Uh, I am Melissa Gratz, one of the superstar directors as that is a part of this Zoom, along with Andrea Hatch, Tammy Frazier, and Anna Hughes, our little family of teams. We are really, really happy that you're with us tonight because we have our special home office guest that is with us tonight, Jason Harwood. Hey, hey. He is, and many of you, the, there's now, Jason, I do have to tell you, we, um, we added a lot of new consultants in July. Yes. And what so great recruiting month in July. Well, okay. and here's what's, yeah. here's what's really cool about the consultants that have joined in July. Um, they joined and like hit the ground running. Yes. So there's there are at least four of them on the screen tonight who joined some of them as recent as July 28th wow. and have already sponsored their own first team members. Woo. So oh, yep. So we have we um so tonight I, I tell you all of this because you are speaking to a consultant that is as new as July 28th. Oh my gosh. And as veteran as Andrea Hatch. Yeah. So <laughs> you have it, you have all titles, you have all consultants, new and veteran. Um, and so the uh I, I think it's important you know your audience. Yeah. Your audience. Thank you. is, well, welcome. Yes. Welcome to uh yeah, if this is your if this is like your first or second Tuesday night fight night, welcome. My gosh, what fun. Uh, and I am so honored and blessed to be a part of this uh, group, to have gotten the invite. So grateful to be with you guys. Uh, for those who are new, my name is Jason Harwood. I work at the home office. Um, I first started at Cincy in 2008 and was, uh, yeah, have just had one of the most incredible life experiences knowing people like Andrea Hatch for 15 years and watching and learning and being inspired. And uh, yeah, people like Tammy and Anna and Melissa and so many others that are in here that I know. Sorry, I should not say names because then I leave people out and then I feel bad, but um, so many incredible people. It has been such an honor to be a part of Sensi. Right now, I work with the what's called the consultant development team. And I'm on a temporary assignment as the interim country manager for the UK, Ireland, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg. So I have done a handful of these for my good friends uh, over in the UK. And that is a lot of fun. And so I'm happy to be like back on American soil, baby, tonight. <laughs> it's good to good to be with you guys. Um, I'm going to run through just a couple of things quickly. And yeah, well, it's funny. Uh, yeah, Alyssa says jaws dropped when they announced me because literally like, I left for reunion on on Friday and I got a text from Dan. We had sort of kind of talked about it because they had gotten some, had some conversations with the previous country manager, Louise White, that she was potentially leaving. And then so he's like, yeah, we might maybe need to make a switch. And then Monday he texts me. And he's like, oh, by the way, it's happening. I said, oh, when? Tomorrow. I was like, oh, OK. So uh, I found out Tuesday I get to Orlando. And um, when you're a country manager, you have a few more responsibilities that require a slightly different dress code than what I typically do at reunion. Usually I'm just, you know, like in my sweet, those cool black Scentsy shirts that we had. And so I get there and they're like, oh, by the way, first night you need a sport coat. And I was like, oh, I don't have one of those. Oh yeah, and la and and Thursday night you're going to need a suit at the awards night. I was like, oh, I don't have that either. So I made a quick run to the Perry Air Ellis at the um, uh, what do they call it? Outlet Mall. I got myself a brand new suit, so that was kind of fun. Uh, so yeah, yeah, looking looking good, feeling good. Okay, let me run through quickly here some things, and then we'll get into a, um, some concepts around earning the incentive. Uh, 2025 incentive is going to be incredible. I couldn't believe it when they announced it. I was like, oh my gosh, Greece and Turkey, Istanbul, top 50, of course, going to 
uh, Machu Picchu. Is that right, Machu Picchu? Did I say, yeah, okay. And, or, uh, and we'll look at this. You guys know, I think you guys have been through this probably last week. Um, here's how you get info. If you haven't looked at the incentive, you go over to the more, you click uh, on incentive, and then you go uh, and see all of the information. Somebody said, I'm looking forward to getting Sensi Family Reunion for free. That's spectacular. I mean, who does not want to get jazzed about Minnesota? Love me some yeah. Minnesota. I mean, let's go to Vikings country. That's where, that's where <laughs> the the happenings happen. Uh, so that's going to be fun. And that's 15,000 points. That's a huge accomplishment, major, major accomplishment. And if you set your sights and you say, man, that's what I want. I want 15,000 points. I want my free um, registration to reunion. We will party with you in what's got to be the most purple town in America, what with uh, uh, ties to Prince and the Minnesota Vikings. So that's going to be great. Um, and then 25,000 points, we wanted to open it up so that more people could go on the on the um, cruise there in, in Greece and Turkey. And so 25,000 points gets you on the boat. You just got to get yourself there. And then 40,000 points. So uh, you have probably, you maybe have seen or have been through on that incentive earning screen there that I showed you. It has a breakdown where you can take your current title and it will show you how many points and a breakdown of how to get the points that you need to earn it. This is set for 40,000 points. So if you look at this and think, you know what, I, I'm really shooting for 15,000 points, you can adjust these points accordingly. If you think I'm I'm shooting for 25, I, I think it's realistic or uh, doable for me to get on the boat and then I'll get myself over there because shoot, if you get 25,000 points, you're going to be getting some commission checks that could probably get you an airplane ticket. Uh, check out the income disclosure statement at sensi.com. But if, if all you did was take all of your commissions and put it towards a plane ticket, you'd probably be there. Um, so yeah, Christina, congratulations, 10 years. That's incredible. So um, we've got that going on. You guys already know that now. I want to talk about three sort of mindset ideas and three more practical tips around earning this. I will say that the first mindset thing that I, I think we have to come at when we look at these points is identifying that if you're going to earn this trip for most of us on this call, we're going to have to do things we don't normally do some things we haven't been doing, and probably some things we don't yet know how to do. You just have to come in saying, if I've been selling 200 or 500 PRV every single month, man, that's great. We're so proud of you. That's spectacular. And if you say, I want to get my free reunion paid for, or I want to go on the boat, that means you're going to have to do some stuff you've maybe never done before. Maybe you've never done a fundraiser before. And tonight you go search on training for fundraiser and find the document that is the fundraiser. There's a whole document on the training about fundraisers. And maybe you decide, man, I'm going to have to do a fundraiser. I'm going to have to find me a local, I don't know, band. I'm going to have to find me a local elementary school. I'm going to have to talk to every PTA president in my town. Uh, I'm going to have to I don't know, do a buddy drive. I've never done this before. I don't know how to do it, but that's what I'm gonna have to do. I might have to do a couple of um, fairs and shows, maybe get some booths in a holiday bazaar, something. I'm gonna have to ask some people to book parties when that hasn't traditionally been something that I do. You just, okay, that's what I'm, I'm gonna have to do some things differently. If you look at this and you can kind of see here on the screen, I mean, PRVs, north of 2000, if that's not something that you commonly do, you have to do some different things. Uh, and that's okay, because I love this quote from Heidi. This is from her 2015 keynote. I think it was Vegas in 2015. Uh, she talked about butterflies. And that first sentence I think is so powerful. We need to be hungry for our transformations. Um, what a great concept from Heidi that you can, 
you can get to a place in your life where you say like, you know what, I could like, I had this conversation actually with Dan Orchard, the uh, now he's no longer the interim. He is the president and CEO of Sensei. I had this conversation with him the other day. Like I could stay in consultant development. I'm 45. I could stay in consultant development for the next 20 years. I'd be really comfortable. Um, but when an opportunity comes to, hey, do you want to help out in region two and do a few things you've never done before? I was like, okay, yeah, I could sit in my office for 20 years doing world tour and boot camp and reunion and Tuesday at two o'clock and be be completely comfortable. But as Heidi says, don't expect to grow when you're comfortable and don't expect to be comfortable when you're growing. We all have to just make a decision. Am I ready for a transformation? People tend to change because of two reasons, pain and love. And she says that whether born of passion or despair, it's our transformations that define us. And so I hope you're not choosing to go all in and earn the incentive because you're in some level of extreme pain right now. Um, but if so, that's one of the most motivating factors in human behavior is pain. Uh, if you have children, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like last night when I tell my 16 year old son, be home before midnight and he gets home three minutes after midnight, there will be some unfortunate pain involved for him when I say, okay, let's try 11 tonight. Let's see how we do at getting home at 11. Can we manage that? And if you can't get home at 11, Let's manage 10. Let's see how we do about that, right? Because pain causes behavior change. And I can almost guarantee once he gets back, works his way back up to midnight, he'll be home on time. Same is true for us, but we can choose. We can say, we can choose to make a change based off of passion instead of despair. And that's where we want to start. Okay, first thing we need to do is be crystal clear. I'm going to give you six C words. First one is crystal clear. Some of you have put it into the chat already. If you haven't, or I appreciate Anna saying to get out your paper and pencil, get your notebook ready, because we're going to take some notes. I have mine. Uh, my own fancy little notebook here. And it, it, and it, it's funny because in my notebook, it has like little um, art things because I get really distracted. And so this is what I do during meetings as I draw in the bottom of my notebook. Um, so if you're on your notes, put it in the notes. If you're in the chat, put it in your chat about get crystal clear on what it is you want to accomplish over the next six months. One lesson that I learned decades ago is that six months will pass regardless of what you do. Six months from now, it's still going to be six months from now. Um, the time will go along no matter what. Clarity helps us define our actions in that time, not the passing of time, but our actions in it. Because um, a good friend of mine, Joan A. Greenfield from the training team uh, said recently, I don't know if she came up with this or not, but I thought it was really brilliant. She said um, that inaction, no, indecision leads to inaction because when we're spending so much of our mental energy, just kind of figuring out what we might maybe possibly want to do, we're not spending time and mental uh, energy figuring out how to do what we've decided we're going to do. And so when you get crystal clear, it signifies to your brain, okay, now it's time to put energy towards figuring out how to do it. So yeah, if it's 15,000 points in reunion, if it's 25,000 points, if it's 40,000 points, um, um, <laughs> then yeah, put it in the chat and let's get crystal clear on what it is that you want to accomplish over the next six months. Now, it may be true that some of you are on this call and saying, um, I'd really just be happy if I promoted from certified to lead or star. Okay, that's great too. Like, you know, put that in the chat. Uh, yeah, I love that. Hit director. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, that is a very clear goal. What what clarity does when you get clear around what you're going for. Now our actions can start aligning and that's our next C, which is concise. This is an interesting concept. I want to do this. I'm, I'm probably going to do this this year. Uh, something I've never done before, but once we hit like February, March time, I'm going to start reaching out to people who earn the incentive. And let's say I'll, I'll talk to different levels but let's just say I reach out to everyone who's got between 15,000 and 21,000 points. Those people who earn their free 
uh, reunion registration. And if I asked them, how did you earn the incentive? I think there will be lots of different answers because you could do many different things to earn the incentive. Getting concise narrows our focus down to what do I have to do tomorrow? Sometimes when we look at the incentive, we get hung up on 40,000 points. And before we even start, we decide I, there's no way I can get 40,000 points. When we get clear around what it is we want to accomplish, we get concise around an action plan. Now, all I have to do is focus on tomorrow. So as you start breaking this down, you start looking and saying, okay, I need 2,500 PRV a month. That's a huge accomplishment. How am I going to do it? How much PRV are you going to get this month from follow-up? Get concise and say, what's my follow-up uh, objective? What, what's, my, what's my number I'm shooting for in follow-up? That's going to help you get concise around the action that you need to take. In my Tuesday at 2 o'clock today, I talked about a follow-up opportunity that only exists this month. Go to your workstation. Go to reporting, sales reports, and discontinued list. For those of you who are new, it's not going to have much there. But for those who have been around a while, it will list out every customer who has purchased one of the products that's being discontinued at the end of the month. And it makes for very easy conversations because you can reach out and say, I know you ordered Blue Grotto. I'm pretty sure Blue Grotto is going away, right? I know you ordered Blue Grotto. Um, one of my favorites. It's going away at the end of this month. And it's 10% off. Would you like to add some more Blue Grotto to your sensi drawer before it's gone and when they say yes now you follow up and they say yeah give me like six bars you say oh fantastic i will absolutely get you six bars i'm putting in an order or if you'd like i can set you up your own customer rewards link would you like a customer rewards what's a customer rewards link oh it's very easy i'm going to send you a link you share it with your friends, family, everyone that you know that you think would love Sensi. They're going to go to that link. They're going to order direct. It's going to ship direct to them. You don't have to do anything. They're just going to order and ship direct. And as they order and we ship it directly to them, you're going to earn rewards. And at the end of the month, I'll let you know how many rewards you have accumulated. That's called a party. Shh. Uh, don't don't tell anybody, but you just booked a party. I know. Weird. So, but um that so uh that's only a bit, you can only do that this month, not the not the rewards thing, just the following up on discontinued because that report will go away because all those products will go away. But um plus it's 10% off this month. Um we also have Sensi Connect, which will also help you in your follow-up if you haven't yet downloaded Sensi Connect. So you, you're going to have a, a goal for how much you're going to get from follow-up. You're going to have a goal for how much you're going to get from the scent and warmer of the month this month. Great warmer of the month. That thing's amazing if, you, if you've seen it. And maybe you say, you know what? I'm going to work. I'm going to sell 100 PRV in um, uh, scent and warmer of the month this month. I uh, We have, what do we have coming out this month? Gordy Goodness, right? And Beetlejuice. And so you can look and you can say, man, I'm going to may I'm going to work and sell, I don't know, 200 PRV. Maybe you've got some people on Sensi Club. Maybe you're going to sell a whiff box, right? Like you start piecing this together, you get concise around your plan and it starts driving individual behaviors. I can almost guarantee you, you'll get to the point where none of those things will add up and you're going to have to say, and I'm going to book some parties. One thing that I can almost guarantee is in... February, March, April, when I talk to people and say, how did you get, how did you earn the incentive? The answer is almost always going to include the word and. I did some parties and some follow-up. I did some follow-up and I did a couple fundraisers. I did a couple fundraisers and I did a fair and show. I did a, I did a couple of parties and some follow-up and I consistently posted on social media. There's all, it's, it's almost always, uh, uh, um, D, all of the above answer. And so you get concise and you say, how many different streams of PRV can I get coming in? Because we also know you're going to need to sponsor. And one of the most successful, consistent ways to sponsor is to flip hosts. And so when that person gets their host or, or their customer rewards link and they get a couple hundred PRV from their friends, and then you say, listen, 
Uh, I'll be honest with you. I know it was kind of sneaky, but you just did 90% of all of the work that it takes to be a consultant. You've got all these customers. So have you ever thought of just becoming a Sensi consultant? Have you ever thought of starting your own business? Have you ever thought of doing what I do? Have you ever thought of, um, you know, uh, I, however you want to word it, um, partnering with Sensi? I've heard some people say. Uh, and then you can use the host uh, exclusive kit and let them know, listen, you can use this host exclusive kit and you can join yourself. And now you've got some PRV, you're well on your way to sensational start and certified. If you don't know what all those terms mean that I just threw out, just go to the training center, look up host flipping, host exclusive kit, go on YouTube. There's lots of trainings about it. Or just message your um, fantastic leader who's on here tonight and say, he was saying some things about flipping hosts and host rewards kits. I don't know what that is. And and I promise you, uh, they will be more than happy to walk you through it. There's a chance that many of you new people who are on here tonight joined using a host exclusive kit. Uh, we don't, and we have the join promo this month, the 10 extra bars. So that's good. Okay. That's a, that's a lot of words, especially on a slide that says concise. <laughs> but, but the... Key point is to start narrowing it down to the point where what you're thinking about is what do I got to do today, not how do I earn 40,000 points? That can become overwhelming. So just narrow it down and say, what simple actions do I need to take today? And that leads us to the next one, which is maybe my favorite, and that is consistency. The incentive already started. We're already six days in. I mean, I don't want to be an alarmist, but if you want 2,500 PRV in August, which has 31 days, that's about 80 PRV a day. 80 PRV a day by six is 483. I don't want to turn anybody off, but like if, if on a day-by-day -day basis, you want to hit 2,500 PRV so far this month, you should be at 483. Every single day matters. Now, can you still come back? Yes, you can still come back. Can you still make it up? Yes, you can still make it up. One party knocks that out. That, but, but like, this is why we did this on the 6th of August, why we didn't wait till September, October, or even later into August, is that every single day of this matters. Watch your Facebook and Instagram feed come January, when you'll see people post things like, I'm only 37,000 points away, and that's only 16,000 six packs. Somebody help me get on the boat. And, and I, those are fine posts. I don't want to, to diminish the success and efficacy of those posts. And sometimes I look and think, man, the way that we overcome that is by starting August 1st, starting August 6th. A strong August is critical to earning it. If you're playing catch up through September, October, November, which by the way, are gonna be our biggest months of the year, September, I mean, boom, new catalog, harvest collection, then we've got holiday collection, we'll have LTO stuff we haven't even seen yet. Um, we'll have join um, promos maybe every year, September, October, November are the biggest three months of the year, but guess which ones are some of the leanest months of the year? December, because once we hit Christmas cutoff, and you can no longer get products for Christmas. Some people really shut down. You don't have to, but some people do. I mean, it's probably good to take a couple of days off there, but, um, you know, week, maybe something like that. But um, sales slow in December. So it, now it's like, I got to get 2,500 PRV, but I got to get it before Christmas cutoff in December, which you can absolutely do. Gift guide. I'll just say that. Um, so... But you want to start now. I would encourage you. We have a little picture here of like a calendar. I'd encourage you to just print off that calendar, one similar to this. Just go on Word or Google it. Print off a calendar with just dates and empty boxes and just mark it. Every day you work in your business, just mark it. Just mark it. Just mark it. And get as many marks as you possibly can. Um, I want to just say one thing about that. And this may be where somebody who actually knows what they're talking about might correct me. I do believe that not all behaviors are created equal. You can get to 8 p.m. and think, man, I haven't done anything in my business. I know the power of consistency. So I'm going to go post about Beetlejuice. And I'm going to put a weird clip from Beetlejuice out on Facebook and say, who loves this freaky movie? Can I just say parenthetically, I watch, Beetlejuice is free on Amazon Prime right now. I watched it, downloaded and watched it on the plane ride home from Reunion. 
That's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Terrible. Terrible. You some of you may be beautiful juice lovers. Like, I would just watch, I was like, what am I watching? This <laughs> sorry, Aubrey. Like, oh, I mean. <laughs> We're going to sell some serious Beetlejuice stuff, but that movie, it ain't no good. Uh, I'm excited for the sequel because it's going to be better. Um, no, it's, anyway, um, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So you could go post that. That's fine. I just want to tell you, I think there are two behaviors that if you get to eight o'clock and you've only got 10 to 15 minutes for your business, I think there are two things that are bigger bang for your buck than posting to social media. Number one, I think is follow-up. Get your Sensi Connect app, pull it up. Sensi Connect is going to recommend to you who to follow up with. If you don't have the Sensi Connect app, go to your workstation, go to reporting, go to sales reports, go to reorder report. And you can put in there people who last ordered from you three to six months ago, zero to three months ago, whatever you want, click run and get the names of people and just message 10 people. It'll only take you 10 minutes. Hey, um, thank you so much for your order a few months ago. I always like to check in and see with a new catalog what you know, new bars you'd like to, I'm terrible at wording these things. What new bars you'd want to put in your Sensi drawer? Um, you can come up with better wording. Sensi Connect gives you recommended wording. Ask out on your guys' pages and in your chats and things what some good follow-up wording is. Ask Chat GPT what some good follow-up wording is. I'm not great with it, but follow-up. It, it's a bigger bang for your buck action if you're just going to do one small thing today than posting to social media. And the number two one is asking someone to book a party. Like if you only got 10 minutes tonight and, and you're like, I got to work my business tonight, just scroll through some of your absolute best customers and message five of them and say, my gosh, you've been one of my best customers for so long. I'm so grateful for you. If I bring the testers and the twisted tea would you invite a few friends over and let's have a Sensi gathering at your house or you can come to my house? Uh, testers and twisted tea. I don't know if that's a good combination or not. Does drinking tea and and smelling things, does that work? Um, people have reported uh, that uh, if you get people drinking, they're more likely to buy. So, you know, give that a go. Um, I saw in the chats uh, something about Will more promos be loaded on Sensi Connect? I don't know that answer. I need to find that out. Right now, it's just Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean that's not the only one that you can use. You, you. I mean, obviously, you can edit those messages. It would be nice if we had more than that. It would be nice if we had 10% off because that's a big one. Um, but that's a good question. I don't know. Um, but I would, if I were you, I would be promoting 10% um, off and discontinued list. And always get my bar. That's another thing. I didn't bring that up. Um, I always get my bar. Go to that discontinued list. If somebody really, really loves Blue Grotto, if they're not already part of Sensi Club, that's a great time to say, listen, I love Blue Grotto too. I'm not so happy it's going away either. Here's what I've done. I put it in my Sensi Club. I get two bars of that every three months through something that's called Sensi Club. If you'd like me to set you up where you would just get a couple of bars every couple of months. I think some people have the misconception of Sensi Club that you're gonna get six bars every month. And you're like, I don't need six bars every month of Blue Grotto. No, you can set how many bars you want and you can set it up for a distribution of every couple of months. So, um, okay. So those are the two bang for your buck behaviors, follow up and asking people to book a party. And, and you know, you've been one of my best customers, Could would you be interested? Oh, I've got this basket party sitting here. Um, if I brought you over some testers and a couple of little goodies, would you be willing to take it to work with you and and um, get just have those conversations? Be consistent every single day. But when you get down to it, when it's like, man, I got to do something today. Ah, I haven't done anything. Think first, follow up and ask somebody to book a party. I think those are the biggest bang for your buck behaviors. Now, I've talked about some actions. The second side of this is our mental approach. Because earning the incentive trip is both a physical challenge as well as a mental challenge. 
And so I want to talk about three C's that have to do with mental. I did three C's, clear, concise, and consistent. That's more your physical action. The next three are about your mental approach. And the first thing is, is this idea about be, of, of a compelling purpose. Uh, what is it that's driving you to want to do this? You might put it into the chat. You might share it. You might jot it down in your notes. One thing that I know will happen over the next six months is you'll get to an eight o'clock and you'll decide to do follow-up and you'll send 10 follow-up messages and not a single one of the 10 people will even bother to respond. And that's going to be, that's going to take an emotional hit. And you've got to decide what is the reason why I'm going to get up and do it again tomorrow? Why am I going to message five more people tomorrow about potentially booking a party when I message 10 people tonight and not a single one of them even bothered to respond? And, and that compelling reason for, for many people who earn trips, it's beyond the trip. It's almost like the trip is the secondary thing. But the reason I earned the trip was, man, I wanted to show my kids what it's like to give full effort to something and accomplish something amazing. I wanted to prove to myself that I could give full effort to something and accomplish something amazing. I wanted to um, have a bit of an evolution, a bit of a, a transformation, as Heidi calls it. I wanted to go from where I am to something better. Oh, and along the way, I also worked my little tail off and I got a trip. Uh, and I, not I got, I earned a trip. Um, so oftentimes it's a bit more, it's a bit deeper and it's a bit more emotional than just, man, I've heard, um, grace is nice in, when are we going? June? I mean, that's good, but if somebody rejects you and then you, you're like, yeah, I'm sure Greece is nice in June, but mm, I'll just go to, I mean, I don't know. I'll just take a family vacation. So, right. You got to have a compelling reason. You should take a family vacation too, but got to have a compelling reason. So think through what that is. Talk through what that is. It, explore kind of in your own mind what that is. Take a few minutes with that. The second piece here is being committed. Um, there will be every opportunity to quit. There'll be every opportunity to step away. There'll be every opportunity to say, man, I was sure excited on August 6th, but nah. There'll be every opportunity to say, I guess I can't do it. Every opportunity to say, I guess earning trips is not for me. And you can absolutely do that. And if you do that, we love you. We care about you. We want to give you a hug. We want to see you at World Tour. We want to cheer for you. Um, and we want to say like, hey, let, let's just commit to, let, let's just go all in. Let's just commit and say, you know what? For the next six weeks, I'm going to give it my full effort. If you guys were there at Reunion or watched it virtually and saw Diana and I had that powerful story of just like not being able to give a fingertip effort more. Um, and I thought it was powerful when she said she gave it her full effort and she did not qualify for uh, the next phase of, I think it was Olympic qualification, but she knew I'd given it every ounce of effort possible. She fully committed to full effort. If you give full effort and you end up at 12,000 points, man, I hope you go out and celebrate. I hope you go out and have a steak dinner and, and uh, get an appetizer with it. Um, and, and I hope you, you feel powerful of saying, you know what? I gave my full effort. I got 12,000 points on that incentive. I never came anywhere close to 12,000 points before, but be fully committed. And the last one is courage. It's going to take effort. It's going to take guts. I can almost guarantee. I, some people tell me that this happens. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, mm, I don't really believe you. I've heard people say like, I earned the trip. I didn't even know it. I don't know about that. Uh, I promise you, come January, when you've earned that trip, you're going to know you've earned it. You're going to know how much work you've put in. You're going to know how courageous you've been. You're going to feel that, man, there were some scary times there. I'd never done a fundraiser before in my life. And I pulled it off and I did a 500 PRV fundraiser. And I'm sure proud of myself. And I got another one coming up. And, and, and it, it's going to take courage to do things you haven't done, to um, talk to people you haven't talked to, to overcome challenges you haven't faced or overcome in the past. But um, part of that is being in this group and just saying, hey, one thing I'm committed to is I'm committed to showing up here on Tuesday nights because my courage is reignited when I'm around powerful people. My courage is reignited when I see other people and I recommit and I 
restore my own personal courage. So um, the, the three C's, clear, concise, and consistent are the actions you take. A compelling, committed, courageous attitude are your attitude pieces. I wanted to show you one more quick thing before we wrap up. Um, you can scan this QR code if you want, um, or I will put the um, link for it into the chat. We have a couple of consultants who have shared some things and then we put together something. Let me now share a slightly different screen for you here. If you follow that QR code, it takes you here. Um, we have a whole Google shared Google Drive with Greece and Turkey images. So you can print them off, you can put them in your office, you can um, save it and make it your screensaver on your computer, on your phone. Uh, you can make your vision board, you can put it on your mirror. Uh, Lots of fun things there. This is done by our, our good friend, Julie Timig on the training team. That's what that is. Um, and then we also have two trackers that people have created. You can use these, you don't have to. This one is by a superstar director, Shannon Carter. This is in Canva, but it's all free. So if you don't have a Canva account, you can get a free Canva account uh, and get this. And this uh, gives you a place where you can jot down your goals for the month in every, all of the point earning categories, and then you're accomplished for the month. So that's kind of fun. And then you fill in up here as you uh, click point thresholds type thing. So that's kind of fun um, if you're into that type of thing. This one is totally different. This is from uh, consultant Dylan Campbell. And, Jason, and this is for people, yeah. Jason, Dylan's on the call tonight. Oh, hi Dylan. Oh, that's fun, yeah. Dylan, he like he just attacks things differently than Shannon Carter does. Um, this is Google Sheets. Dylan, tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Unmute if I'm doing something wrong. But this is your scorecard. You don't really want to touch this one. But he's put in all of the functions, all of the um, pluses and minuses and commas and quotation, no, parentheses. And so you can come here to PRV tracker and you can say, okay, my PRV goal was 2,500. My actual was 2,641. And I was paid as a star consultant. And what that does is it automatically there um, accounts for the points that you got. And if you come over here to scorecard now, it has automatically accounted for those points. And then consultant tracker here, you can put in the name of a recruit and they hit sensational start level one. It gives you the points. Uh, they uh, That's my first consultant that's promoted to certified and they have not yet promoted to lead. And then you come over here and on the scorecard, it's now giving you the sponsoring, the 1500 sponsoring points and uh, all that. So if you're into like, this is on Google Sheets, by the way, so you don't even need Excel. If you're into spreadsheets, I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I I think this took like, six nights worth of work, but like uh, maybe Dylan does this really quickly, but uh, yeah, this one's really cool. But if you look at this and you're like, what, what, what? Uh, don't, don't use this one. That's okay. This is for people who love spreadsheets and love to in, input data into a spreadsheets, you know, um, do that. Uh, but if you're more like, I just want to print something off and write on it with paper and pencil and have it be cute, uh, do this one. Both excellent. What's nice is, is you get the same amount of points regardless of which tracker you use, or even if you don't use any tracker, you get the same amount of points. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you, Dylan. That's really fun. And thank you. Uh, I think, um, Julie reached out and got Dylan's, uh, approval to use that. So. Appreciate you allowing us to use that. Okay. <laughs> Melissa, did uh, uh, if I messed something up, now's your moment, or you, if there's any questions. You didn't, you didn't mess anything up. And I think it, two really great things happen, probably more. But one is that you are echoing some of the things that we have reassured our teams with, with launching into this incentive. Um, yeah. and that, so it's good not only to hear it from us, but to also hear it from you. So thank you for that. Um, but there is, uh, so there's two 
there's two things and I'm not going to lead you into the answer. Cause I know oh. you'll answer, you'll answer correctly. Um, but just, just confirm for me or answer this for me. One is that, uh, planning is important and nobody really earns the trip by accident. Yeah. So planning is super important. Yep. And a huge misconception is that, uh, I'm brand new to Sensi. There's no way I could earn a trip to Greece. Yeah. Two good points. Uh, number one, yeah, no, nobody gets there by accident. I promise you, you won't get, you, you won't get an email in February being like, congratulations, you earned the trip and be like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. I earned the trip? Huh. I, I wasn't even trying. I promise that won't happen. Yeah. Um, and number two, we have people who join in the incentive every year who earn it. We have people who start at every title level and earn it. Um, and it is true that it, like if you're a certified consultant today, there are some personal promotion points that you can get um, as you personally promote. And for a director to personally promote to star director, it that that's a huge accomplishment, fairly difficult to do. But you can go from certified to superstar consultant through the next six months and get those personal promotion points. And if you are to do that, you're going to sponsor and people on your team are going to grow. And so you're going to have um, the sponsoring points that you need too. But absolutely, we have people who start certified every single year and earn the trip. Um, and so, yeah, it is not, and I'll say, I guess the opposite is also true. We have people who start at superstar director every single year and don't earn the trip. So it's has very little to do with your title at the beginning, has more to do with the amount of work that you put in over the next six months. Uh, because superstar directors don't get any extra special points. Um, they gotta they gotta sell their 2,500 PRV every month and they got, you can go look, they gotta recruit, they gotta get people to certified all the same. And so sometimes I know it sounds kind of maybe trite, but sometimes it's easier when you're new because like now you're sponsoring your sister and Melissa's sister is already a consultant, so she can't sponsor her sister. Uh, um, right. But you're, you're kind of sponsoring your close friends and family. You've got a lot of new early excitement. None of your friends know that you've been doing Sensi for 12 years. And so there's a lot of, uh, um, a lot of early excitement there that, that can, uh, you can definitely take advantage of. Yeah. Jason, thank you so much. Thank you for, for taking the time to spend with us. My and, pleasure. Um, Anna, yeah. thank you for fielding so much in the chat. You guys really blew up the chat tonight and I love seeing the cheerleading and I love seeing the questions and the answers. And, um, but I really, really loved seeing you guys say, this is what I'm aiming for. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to happen. And you can make that happen. You can absolutely make that happen. And the one thing that we see that, that Jason talks about, the one thing that we see is on August 6th, you want to achieve all those things you dropped in the chat. And then you allow yourself, allow yourself to lose that momentum and to let yourself down. And that's the one thing as leaders and that Jason, I know you back us up with that too. That's the one thing as, as leaders that's so difficult because we know that everybody has the potential to earn these trips. Everybody has the potential, but like you said, you have to work for it. And maybe you mm -hmm. have to do some things that are outside of your comfort zone or they're outside of your normal scope of business, or it's asking you to try something you've never done before. But it's when we do those things that our businesses change. It's yeah. when we do those things where we see that we can actually achieve and believe in ourselves. So, um, Jason, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for getting on with us tonight. We appreciate yeah. you so much. Um, thank you guys. Been, been, uh, awesome night. Well, thank you. The, to everybody else, we have one last thing we're going to do. Um, and that is give away our zoom prize for, uh, Jason, I'm sorry, you can't win. You you can't win. But, I'm excited to see somebody win though. Let's, uh okay. So let's let me um here. I'm gonna remove your I'm gonna remove your spotlight. I'm gonna yeah. remove my spotlight and then we'll see if we have any cheers on the main screen. Um but uh and I know I always tend to speak on behalf of on behalf of Anna, Tammy, and Andrea, and this entire group, Jason. 
we all say thank you to you yeah. for spending time with us. We know that you are past business hours this evening and uh, uh, it, it really means a lot. Um, but yes, we give away a prize randomly on each one of our Tuesday night Zooms and Andrea is going to do the honors of drawing yes. our winner for tonight. Every, every Tuesday, we'd like to be the little prize fairy. So, okay, where is our winner tonight? Karen V. Yay, Karen! That's awesome. Yay! Yay! <laughs> There's your cheering, Jason. There's your cheering. <laughs> That's his girl. That's great. So Karen, you just have to send Andrea Hatch a private message on Facebook with your mailing address and she will get your Zoom prize dropped uh, in the mail to you. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for being on with us tonight. Remember tomorrow, Wednesday, we have our virtual cubicle in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. We'll also have virtual cubicle tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So either of those options. And uh, just since Jason's listening to us and he's like, what the heck is virtual cubicle? Um, it, it, is, it is our, we open up this Zoom and we work together. Everybody works on their own things, but you are... Um, not working alone. So we hang out with each other. We connect with each other. We give ideas to each other. Um, and so we have that two times tomorrow, morning and evening, virtual cubicle. We will also have a Thursday night shift on Thursday evening. That's your bonus training for the week. And you guys, let's go out and do amazing, amazing things this week. Um, and happy 11th anniversary, happy 11 year anniversary to Cindy Abraham, who's on tonight and uh, she's celebrating today. Okay, you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for getting on.